and the series of learning programming in C. In the previous video, I have discussed for loop, everything about for loop means uh, the general syntax of for loop, what is meaning of how to use for loop in your program, uh, the structure of for loop, the working of for loop with the help of flowchart as well as a program as well as you know the different ways we can write down for loop and some you know some tricky things what type of tricky things you can do with for loop everything we have discussed in detail with the help of program and i have shown you the output also right in this video i'll talk about a program means we are going to discuss a program using for loop how you can write a program means how you can think a logic how you can think that here you have to use for loop means here you have to use loop because we have discussed only for loop you can use while loop also do while loop also uh, while writing this program but we have discussed for loop only so i'll be uh, making this program using for loop so where and when you can use for loop what condition you will put in that for loop to terminate you will you are going to increment or decrement the value means everything means uh, uh, ultimately i want to explain how to use for loop in your program right so now let's discuss a program to print table of a number see don't just think about the logic first of all first of all think about the output what kind of output you want according to that output you are going to write a program right so first think about the output see what i want i want to print table of a number number suppose i want to ask from the user enter a number and suppose he is entering a number two and you have to print table of that twos this kind of thing this kind of thing you want right this is table of 2 let us suppose number is 2 right so now here see 2 into 1 and this number is the c increasing 1 2 3 4 5 up to 10 right this statement we are repeating again and again right because 2 is the number the number is same at 10 places one number that is increasing from 1 to 10 and according to that we are multiplying the given number as well as this number this is suppose a variable whatever variable you will take i am multiplying this and you are getting an output and that output you have to print right or maybe you can print all everything like 2 into 2 into 1 is equal to 2 all the data you can print or you can just print 2 4 6 like this but logic would be this thing you have to multiply the number with the one more uh, number and that is increasing from 1 to 10 so what you can do you can here do what you we can use loops and the loop termination condition of the loop would be the loop would be started on this number on this variable i can put loop the loop would be started from 1 and that would be ended when the number becomes 10 because this number is same this is also this is only increasing so here i can put that increment condition right i plus plus means uh, suppose you take a variable i here this is i this is increasing from up to uh, from 1 to 10 this is a number and here you are getting some output right so let's write down a program now to take input from the user means i want user should input a number you have to declare a variable because the data you can store in variable only right so i am declaring a variable suppose int number and one is for the loop that is i Suppose I am taking two number, two uh, variables only now, right? Now, we will ask from the user, enter a number, right? This message would be printed on your, on that output screen and how you can take input using scanf. I hope you know the syntax of printf and scanf, right? Now, user has entered a number that is suppose two. Now, you have to put for loop in this case i would be initialized from 1 and the termination condition is i should be less than equal to 10 once i becomes 11 this loop would be terminated right and i would be increase we are going to increment i by 1 i plus 1 right so i plus plus that is the loop in this loop what you have to write you have to multiply the given number with this i right so i am writing here this like this number into i but whatever the multiplication whatever the result that also we are going to store somewhere and for that also you need a variable it's not like that you can only multiply what value would be stored where the value would be stored how in c in programs in computer you have to use some variable to store 
uh, the, that any number into memory. So here, and how the value would be assigned? First of all, this would be calculated, and thus this result would be assigned to another variable, right? So I am taking suppose variable here a. You can take any variable name. So before using this, we have to declare a here, right? That is why I am taking three variable. I hope now you got why you are taking three variables and I hope in any program you can identify how many variables you have to declare right now a is equal to number into i fine and I am printing because 10 times I have to print so printf this statement would be executed 10 times that is why I am writing this statement in loop it's not like that just do this thing and write printf after this for loop no then the printf would be executed only once and I want what? 10 times printf should be executed right to print a table of a number so now how you can print percentage d and simply output would be in a right so a you can print fine and that's it now see when you run this program then let us try run this program first of all control will go to the first line of the main three variables would be you know assigned some memory locations number one is i and one is a having some memory address but in this numbers we are we are not having we don't have anything we are not initializing these numbers here then on output screen what output you will get enter a number this thing would be printed when you will run this program and suppose you are entering number two now control will go here in for loop i is equal to one right now i value is one i'm initializing i here i less than equal to 10 yes it is true control will enter into this for loop right now it is going to fetch the number from the memory in number c i have entered what 2 so when whenever you will enter 2 that would be stored in this number right address of number number variable fine now 2 into i 2 into 1 that is 2 and that would be stored in a that is 2 would be stored here right Next statement is printf. Percentage D means it has to print integer value. Now next it will take it will see the argument A. Whatever the value of A it will print that is 2 would be printed here. Right. Now before exiting the loop next is what it will do what I plus plus. See the working of the for loop if you haven't checked my previous video you can check out in the side button. I plus plus now I becomes 2. Check the condition it is true. Again, it will enter here number into i, number 2 into 2, that is 4. Now, 4 would be stored in a. And now, printf 4 would be printed. See, here you are not, we are not using any slash and so 4 would be printed here. But I want to print a table something like this, not horizontal, vertical. So, what you can do, you can put slash in here, that is, slash in is for new line. So, now 4 would be printed here. Again, i plus plus, i becomes 3. Condition is true. 3 into 2 that is 6 would be stored in a and 6 would be printed here right like this this would be in loop and up to 10 this would be printed at one time num this value of i becomes 10 this is 2 and here 20 not 10 20 would be printed now again it becomes i plus plus that is i value becomes 11 now the condition is not true so it will not enter into this for loop it will go out of the for loop and we have get ch whenever you will press any key or when you, whenever you will press enter you will get back to your editor screen so this is how you can print a table of a number right now i hope you got the working of this for loop and i hope now you can write down any program you can use any for loop you can identify the termination condition for the for loop right and the initialization also and this also like you have to do i plus plus or i minus minus i guess by seeing the output means first of all analyze the output according to that write down a program now i want the output should be printed something like this 2 into 1 is equal to 2 2 into 2 is equal to 4 this like this 2 into uh, 10 is equal to 20 how you can print this kind of output please write down a program or you can copy paste that program or just any simple line where you have to change only that line you can print you can write down in the comment box that's it for me no no need to write down the complete program right so now i hope that's it for this video now we are we will discuss many programs about for loop like printing a pattern or factorial fabianic series many programs but that i think i'll discuss on that ide not on this whiteboard yeah i'll explain the logic only but 
I'll show you the run uh, that that program, the execution of that program on that ID from the next video. Fine. So now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.